So what is next in store for XRP? Find out in today's episode guys. What is up guys? Welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto and make sure you stay till the end for my XRP price prediction. In today's news we have XRP at 0.7264 down 4% for the past 24 hours. So XRP has been going on a downward trend for the past couple of days as we can see on the chart on the seven day chart here here starting on the 19th so a few days ago it was hitting the peak of 0.7768 currently down all the way to 0.7258 not not looking great for xrp but could it be making a turnaround as we know the 0.70 is a pretty strong resistance for this coin so uh, we should not be expecting it to break through below 0.70 but I would be expecting it, uh, expecting another 24 hour downward trend uh, in tomorrow's news. So what is going on behind the scenes for XRP? Uh, after MANA and APAC, this is the region Ripple could be looking at next. Ripple, the San Francisco based blockchain company has admittedly seen more success and received warmer welcomes abroad than within the USA. So naturally, many investors and XRP holders want to know where the company is looking at next to launch, the, launch new projects and partnerships. And to that end, a statement by the company published on 20th of April suggests where Ripple might be focusing in the near future. So booking tickets, tickets for LATAM. Uh, Ripple's report pointed out that the Latin American payments industry suffered from low inter operability due to fragmentation. However, Ripple noted that crypto adoption was growing in the region, with central banks looking at blockchain technology, crypto exchanges supporting sports teams and residents depending on the US dollar for liquidity. In particular, Ripple cited Brazil as an example and said because Brazil is often a leader in Latin, uh, Latin America in the adoption of new technology, it is it's worth noting that the country is driving smart and progressive crypto use and regulation. It added Brazil's central bank has also been, uh, been ahead of the curve in showing public facing interest in the potential of DeFi, NFTs and even the metaverse. The, uh, the wording is significant, after all, Ripple has already launched projects in the Asia, Pacific and Middle East slash North Africa region. What's more, that uh, this would not be Ripple's first rodeo in the Latin America region, after the payment company Paydeck announced it was leveraging the RippleNet to amp up its presence in Latin America. Now investors should watch to see if Ripple's next CBDC partnership or RippleNet inter, uh, integration could be based in the region. That being said, Ripple isn't the only blockchain company on the block looking to expand its activities in foreign countries. Cardano founder Charles uh, Hoskin, uh, Hoskinson made it clear that he had lofty plans for Cardano-based infrastructure in Africa. In fact, Cardano's decentralized treasury project catalyst launched the Air. Uh, area, area incubator scheme in Africa to develop new projects. So what about XRP? Ripple might be making strides overseas, but back in North America, XRP is still a taboo subject, taboo asset as this SEC lawsuit against the company continues. However, Ripple experienced a setback as the judge denied CEO Brad Garlinghouse motion to force the SEC to produce notes taken by official Matthew Eastbrook during a meeting between SEC Commissioner Ali Rossman and Garlinghouse. So guys, XRP is currently in a uh, uncertain situation, at least uh, in terms of what is exactly going on uh, in the long term plans for XRP. But one thing is for certain, and that is that we are going on the right track with the court case. Even after this slight setback, I think we are headed towards a almost certain win. And now with this downtrend happening, I would say uh, it's a pretty, pretty great time to be investing into XRP. Maybe wait a couple more days when it hits the $0.70 um, the resistance curve to just gain a few more percentage points uh, in your investment. But other than that, I still think XRP is an amazing, amazing investment. So that's it for today's news, guys. Come back tomorrow.